Hi everyone, welcome back. I uh, started the episode, but didn't have my microphone in my hand. Whoops. So, welcome back to the map. As you can see, I've cleaned it up. Um, there aren't any numbers anymore. So Reston is Resting Stone, because it's in between Fleuré and Nolan. And you can probably rest there without having to stop on the inhospitable lands. Lorik is low rock because it was a very close to the ground. It's probably almost a sandbar island, you know? Tadrock is now gray because I decided if it's named Trade Rock, wouldn't it be funny if it was just a rock? And it would also make sense as that's why Tadrock is the place where trades are held because it's totally neutral. Because who the hell would want a island that's just a rock? Because all of these, you know, they're green. They're verdant. They have either grass or forests, depending on what I decide to put there, because I decide. Uh, Tadrock can be neutral because no one, no one wants the damn thing. It's just a rock, you know? A big, salty rock. And there are islands like that in the real world. Um, usually people build prisons on them. So yeah, then Lorik is lowlands. And then... Orange is Highlands. Traken is, you know, just one big area. So, Orange is Highlands. Red is going to be Red Rock Mountains. I like I like Red Rocks. Um, I'm technically speaking from Arizona. And then, there's the deep parts of the mountains. Or the deep parts of the ocean, rather. So, why would people care about these? Because normally, how deep the ocean is doesn't actually matter. Well, I've decided that the reason that it actually matters is because it's so deep and something's up with the ocean that it causes boats to crash. Boats will just get sucked under. So people have to be careful not to not to pilot their boats through here, which is very inconvenient because it means that Noelon has to go around this up in the Traken. It also means that Tadrock is very, very hospitable looking because it's out of the way of the trench. The trench is probably the most famous one because it used to be an island and then just got pulled over. Like, literally imagine, like, a kid underneath playing in sand, just yanking a stick underneath the sand. That's what happened. So now we come to actually world building. We have literally built a world, yes, but we haven't done anything with it. So let's just put, let's just put rivers on here. Zoop. You know, why not? Let's zoom in. Zoop. And this is going to be a lake, you know? Yeah, I like that. And then we're just going to pull this up here. It gets thicker and thinner in some places. I want this to be thick. Right here. And then, yeah, that's a river. Ooh, but it could actually just snake the whole island. Yeah. And then there's a tributary here, here, here. Yeah, I like that. And then here. And then let's just fill this whole thing in. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so now Nolan has uh, rivers. So the freshwater parts of Noelon allow it to be a little more useful for people. But let's also do this. Yep. Yep. And then we'll just do this. We'll zoom in further and make sure we're just cleaned up here. Can we just fill? Yeah, all right. Look at that. So these will be uh, beaches. Because, you know, tan is like a sand color. Mm. Traken's all sand. All right, yeah. This big river needs a name. So let's think of that right now.
left. Oops. <laughs> the Biru River. Let's drag it down here so it doesn't interfere with our map. This is the Biru River. All right, yeah. So I'm not going to do every single piece of this on camera. But just getting in here and filling out parts of your world. Ooh, thunder is popping off. Deciding what you want in your world is how you world build. So this is the trench. We know already that the trench is like this because it got yanked underwater. And originally it was probably some verdant green wonderful place. So why did it happen? Well, this is a big catastrophic event. And catastrophic events are important in your world because they're often what things are defined around. For instance, in our universe, time was originally set around the birth of uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, I should specify of Nazareth. It's important, dang it. What if there's another one? What if another one gets famous? And then everyone will look like fools except me because I specified. But yeah, originally, BC and AD was based around him and now we have ce and bce which is common era and before common era but they're really just renames of those to make them what is it secular what's the or is secular the op to make it not religious you know just so everyone can get on the same system and there are other world systems that use similar similar things so what if the trench getting pulled under is how the time is set. So yeah, the time will be P-Sync and pre-sync or P-S and after sync A-S. So if something's like 400 P-S, that means that this is still an island and not a trench. But then also we need to decide how exactly this sunk. So let me think here. Of course, having a time system like that is what opens your world up to having big, big, long, like, stories and, you know, 14,000 years of lore like I talked about last episode. And you really don't need that, you know? You can just have the year and then the number, and it can be even, like, the double digits. You don't even need years, you know? It can just be what's happening right now. There have been great stories that have been told with almost no lore, you know? Uh, there's this anime called the big o pardon the title it's a translation of omega big o is just what omega means because omicron is little o but big o has about 40 years of lore and that's kind of about it and that's cool you know having a short time frame is just as cool as having a long one but most people when they want to like really get in and world build want longer time so that's what we're here for so what if the trench was, for something like this, one of three things really have to happen. It's, there are a few more, but it either has to be humans screwed up or some other race analogous to humans. The gods decided humans screwed up or random chance happened. This is pretty extreme for random chance. So let's say that either a precursor, like progenitor race machine malfunctioned and sent the world back into the Stone Age and destroyed this, like, wonderful island. Or the gods were like, Everyone's here. everyone here is a sinner. Let's say it was a little of both. Let's say that there was a precursor race. And that the gods were like, hey, let's say they fought a war with the gods. That sounds cool. Yeah, there was a, there was a god war. Precursors lost and it got this sunk into the world. And then, uh, hmm. And then that's also why the inhospitable lands are like this. Yeah, there we go. Tying it together. The inhospitable lands would be... Hmm, where everyone else ran. And then... Or no, what if they just... What if, what if that's where the rest of the precursors lived? But then whenever, when all the precursors died, no one could manage their machines. And it all just spiraled out of control. And then everyone else lives all around here, just dotted throughout the areas. I like that. I like that a lot, in fact. 
All right. All right. I'm liking this. See, a lot less actually done on the map this episode. We barely did anything. We just basically drew in this river and talked about this trench. But that's okay. You can really just do whatever you want. And world building is a very, very you process. You can do whatever you want with it. So, uh, that's another episode. Um, I'm going to cut it here, and we'll come back with a new format next time. I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by to watch me world build. Uh, remember to brush your teeth, and if you can't do that, use a mouthwash, you know? Nothing wrong with that. All right, see you guys next time.